All right, the next section, same book, Personal Power Through Awareness, uh, Sanaya Roman. I was saying Sonia before, but it's Sanaya, I think. All right, in every home, in every home are the energies and thoughts of the occupants. So if you remember, we've been going over um, how energy is around us. That's basically a lot of the conversation. The energy is around us and we are receptive. If you hear that, I mean, my chickens are laying. So that's a good sound, right? So if it gets too bad, I'll reset it, but I should probably reset it. Wait a second. They're still going, it's been a minute or two. They're actually hatching. They're actually uh, like, like laying right now and they're doing like a celebratory, like a chicken dance. So sorry about all of this. I'll get back to the storage. One second. I think they're done. We've had over 10 eggs in the last two days. Pretty cool. All right, so can't wait to see how many more they have. So getting back. All right, in every home lives the energy of the occupants. And as I was saying before, we are all just energy trends, uh, like, like transducers, transductors, whatever you want to call it. I'm not an electrician, right? We all are conduits of energy, right? So if there are people and things going on in your house, you really can't avoid it. You, you can't block yourself off to it. It's a, it's, it's a, again, like a bright light being shined through an open window. You can't ignore it. Even if you close your eyes, you have that like that weird red tint from like basically looking through your eyelids, right? You can't ignore it. You can focus it. You can be aware of it. You can use it. I'm an oily, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an oily person. I'm an early morning, morning, early morning, still too early. I am an early morning person. I promise I am, right? And um, my family here, they don't get up until like a little bit later, eight, nine, 12, whatever the case is, right? Um, so I gotta be quiet in the morning. I have to be it's just respectful of the people in the house, right? So I can't get up and turn on the TV and start cleaning the kitchen and going through all this stuff. So I'm here with you guys. I come outside to the Tiki Hut and listen to the chickens and play with the chickens and the dog and all of that stuff. But I can be outside and I can speak normally. I am refocusing the energy that's in the house from the quiet energy that's in the house into a respectful energy of the family that I love. And then I'm, it allows me the time to think about what else to do with that time. I can wake up and be pissed off. I can wake up and sit at the computer and clack it, clack it, clack it, clack it. It's just slightly annoying enough to piss people off. Or I could take my happy ass outside and go do these videos for you guys, right? Within your home, there are energies you cannot ignore. You're going to have to learn how to refocus them, repurpose them, and make them a part of your daily life. It's the only way to survive. I want to see how many eggs they had. This is Bear. That's what's up. I'm going to be right back.